Hello, my name is Alex Davenport. I am a recent graduate of Centennial High School, and I will be attending the University of Cincinnati during this fall to study aerospace engineering. I am also the 2021 recipient of the Educational Scholarship Award under Mrs. Jackson's name. I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for giving me the opportunity to apply for this scholarship, and I look forward to meeting you guys all sometime soon. Thank you very much. It's is an interesting question because <clears throat> it uh, occurred in uh, primary school, and, um, and I'll just share with you a particular incident because uh, there was a um, discussion about class officers, <clears throat> the second grade, and you know what's a class officer for second grade? But um, the class decided that based on my participation in class activities and discussion with my peers, that I should be class president, and I was elected class president. And Margaret, the white girl, was the vice president. Well, at the end of the day, <clears throat> the teacher called Margaret and I up to her desk and said that um, she understood why the class had voted as it did, but in fairness to me, so that I would not have unrealistic expectations moving forward in life, it was important for her to reverse the rules because I should not expect to be president or give leadership in a context outside of the class. And so she would announce to the class the next day that Margaret was actually the president and I would be the deputy. <laughs> so I thought that would be very strange, but I went home and shared that with my parents. And uh, I saw the look that went back between them. And the next morning, my mother always took my father to work. And the next morning, uh, uh, she said, I want you to ride with me because I'm gonna go to school with you after I drop your father off. Well, you can imagine, not only were the roles reversed and I was class president and acknowledged for all the past leadership activities I had performed within the class and the school as a whole, but also my parents got the teacher not only out of the school, but out of the system. Because they said she should not be allowed not only to, to not damage our children, but any children. What are you doing? Gardening. Gardening. And, 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 and it's interesting in that it has now become, um, a, you know, almost it's a profession. You know, and, and, and I hesitate. And, and it's interesting in that I've always... Um, been involved in keeping my hands in the dirt, all right? And uh, my parents always had some small patch of tomatoes, uh, uh, mint, mint was always growing wild in the corner someplace, green beans growing something, and my uh, grandfather grew, and you know, aunts, my, my, my grandparents on both sides, you know, had gardens, and, and my, the Cleveland, my, my maternal, grandparents had chickens and the whole bit. So, you know, I was always exposed. And then uh, as, as I continued, I was in different situations that encouraged, you know, that love of nature and the experience of nature. And so um, it was a few years ago, someone said, um, you know, I need you to teach uh, 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 in an agriculture course. And I was like, I don't have a degree in agriculture. I'm not a farmer. I don't, you know, I, I can't, I can't, I can't. You know, that first, that self-doubt. And uh, she was like, no, from everything I've heard and seen, you, you know, sure you can. Because I've been working with a community garden. I have an individual garden at the home, that kind of thing. And then it was one of those times I had to stop and say, okay, what is your knowledge base? And really said, no, you don't have a degree in this, but you certainly have a competency. We are in the historic Bronzeville district, which is part of the King Lincoln area of Columbus, Ohio. Bronzeville is an area of the Near East Side, and this is Bethany Presbyterian Church and the Bethany Bronzeville Community Garden. What's historic is that this church, for instance, celebrated its 100th birthday uh, last year. And the garden is five years old. 
It serves the community lunch program of Bethany Presbyterian Church, and that represents a continuity of the community that is, has always been served by the church. This is the Bronzeville Garden because in the 1930s, this area functioned as a suburb of its own with its own city council and city council chair. It is a significant African-American community that has remained so for over uh, 100 years. It was a city within a city because of segregation. It was a world-class community, meaning that both the poorest of the poor and the richest of the rich lived near each other in this area. And it was in function with its own uh, resources, its own institutions, and the money that was generated in the community was put back into the community. We've lost some of that now. But we're regaining it when we have institutions like Bethany Presbyterian Church, which have, has supported the Bethany uh, Bronzeville Community Garden, and in the past has supported the Bronzeville Growers Market. What we're looking at is sustainability. We're recognizing that although this is a food desert, meaning that there isn't a major grocery store within one mile, or there isn't affordable food that is accessible uh, within a one mile radius of this uh, uh, area, um, we think it's important for people not only to know what fresh food is, but to be able to learn how to grow it themselves. Because we shouldn't always be dependent on food banks and free food. Um, we should learn to be sustainable in all areas of our lives, and we think it's important to learn to do that by, by starting with the garden. We have home health care workers who are actually working for uh, people within the community but pass by here on a daily basis. Julia Lynn Walker is a native of Columbus, Ohio. She holds a bachelor's in Black Studies from the College of Worcester and a JD from Northwestern University. For over 30 years, Julia Lynn has worked with movements for social change in Africa and the Americas, from civil rights to the Pan-African liberation struggle. Julia Lynn's experience is with community, public, and private sector organizations, managing projects and providing strategic planning and guidance in the areas of social development, change management, and public policy. Julia Lynn was in management consulting in South Africa for 15 years, assisting corporate and nonprofit clients, specifically HIV and AIDS focused organizations with diversity and inclusion issues. Since her first visit to Africa as a student at the University of Ghana, Lagone in 1969, she has also worked in Botswana, Ghana, Kenya, Lesotho, Tanzania, Zambia, and Zimbabwe. Julia Lynn's local community activities include serving on boards and advisory committees of the Columbus Landmarks Foundation, the Franklin Park Civic Association, the Columbus Afrocentric Early College, ComFest, and the Columbus African American Digital Collection for the Columbus Metropolitan Library. She is an active member of the Greater Columbus Growing Coalition and Ohio Ecological Food and Farm Association, and in 2018 attended the Black Urban Gardeners and Farmers Convention held in North Carolina. Julia Lynn is passionate about the connections between healthy food, growing healthy food, and marketing healthy food, especially within traditionally African-American communities as an outgrowth of her international public health and African diaspora work. She is market manager for the Bronzeville Growers Market, facilitator for the Bronzeville Agro Academy, and manager of the Bethany Bronzeville Community Garden, which serves the 14-year-old community lunch program at Bethany Presbyterian Church. A former certified market manager assistant for the Ohio Farmers Market Network, she facilitated a seven-month course in urban planning farming sponsored by the USDA Farm Services Agency that addressed the existence of food deserts in Central Ohio and urban farming for local colleges in the community. Julia Lynn currently serves as a mentor to area gardeners and community gardens in Bronzeville and Franklin Park. She guides local history and culture tours for members and non-members of the global African diaspora, that is people of African descent living outside of the African continent. She has also guided tours to Africa that included community interactions, 
folklore and festivals, exposure to indigenous knowledge systems, the creative arts, history and politics in appropriate ways for all ages. She has contributed her informal library of books and magazines to the Pan-African Archives at the Freedom Park in Pretoria, South Africa. Julia Lynn has lectured on issues of the African diaspora at multiple national and international venues, including a presentation on sundown towns at the National Afro-American Museum and Cultural Center, and a TED Talk on urban farming in 2019. Most recently, her public speaking engagements have included the Ohio Farmers Market Conference in 2019, the African Canadian Resource Network in Regina, Canada, the second Kwame Nkrumah Intellectual and Cultural Festival in Accra, Ghana in 2017, and the National Afro-American Museum and Cultural Center in Wilberforce, Ohio in 2016. As a researcher, Julia Lynn co-authored African American Settlements and Communities in Columbus, Ohio, a 2014 publication of the Columbus Landmarks Foundation. Julia Lynn is a recipient of many national and international awards and recognitions, which include the 2013 International Congress of Black Women Omni Award, the 2015 Federation of African Organizations of Ohio Pan-African Award, the 2016 International Congress of Black Women Service Award, the 2019 Living Legend Award from Who's Who Columbus, Ohio, the Columbus City Council 2020 Certificate of Commendation for Columbus Community Service, the 2021 Landmark Foundation Paul E. Young Outstanding Achievement in Education Award, a Boy Scout of America Eagle Scout Mentor Award for 2020, and the Phenomenal Women Inc. of Columbus, Ohio 2020 Phenomenal Woman of the Year Award.